To this day, one of the many things that piqued my interest was the, uh, the fact that about the only thing ideologically that Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh have in common with Al Sharpton and Jeremiah Wright is the Battle Hymn of the Republic is uh, one of the favorite songs of all four men. So how did this song that you all know really begin? If any of you have seen the sheet music of uh, Battle Hymn of the Republic, if you read it, uh, often to this day, there's an attribution in which the tune is from William Steff. Uh, now William Steff had been a South Carolinian who moved to Philadelphia after the war, several decades after the war, he said, I was the originator of Battle Hymn. I created the tune. I gave it to this Philadelphia Fire Department. And that's dead wrong. Uh, the origins, wonderfully, the origins of the Battle Hymn of the Republic are Southern. Uh, it, the origins are a Southern camp meeting song in the South in the early antebellum period most communities didn't have the wherewithal to create churches, so they gather quarterly or periodically for these large religious gatherings in the woods. And the most, the keynote of these camp meetings was, uh, were hymns. Uh, the first known uh, iteration of the, or the origins of Battle Hymn is Say Brothers Will You Meet Us, which was published uh, first in an 1807 North Carolina hymn book by Stith Mead. Say Brothers Will You Meet Us uh, has the same uh, tune, Say Brothers Will You Meet Us. In fact, can we hear the, um, can you play the song, thanks. on Canaan's happy shore. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Forever, evermore. That's good, Douglas. Thanks. So Say Brothers Where You Meet Us was immensely popular in Southern camp meetings, and in fact, Stith Mead publishes it in this uh, hymn book because he had heard it. That was a common way in which uh, ministers uh, at camp meetings wanted to evangelize. They evangelized through hymns. One of the fascinating aspects of Say Brothers Where You Meet Us is, is that if you look at this first publication, it, uh, it appears in a call and response. Question, oh brothers, will you meet me? I'm, uh, oh brothers, will you meet me? Answer, by the grace of God, I'll meet you. By the grace of God, we'll meet you. That call and response was a common characteristic of slaves from an African tradition of singing. There are also numerous instances of eyewitness observers describing slaves at camp meetings singing, say brothers, will you meet us, in a ring shout another African ritual. Uh, and so there's good evidence that the origins, the musical origins of a, a Battle Hymn of the Republic in Say Brothers Will You Meet Us are as much African-American as they are American. 